Good evening, Titans. This is Mr. Sturtz. We're now on lesson 5.3. Um, we're still solving systems of linear equations, um, but this time we're going to use a method called elimination. So we've had solved by graphing, we've had by solved by substitution, now we're going to solve by something called elimination. Um, a little vocab word there, we have coefficient, which is simply a number located directly before a variable. So if we have something like 3x, this 3 is our coefficient before our variable x. Okay, we have four steps to solve by elimination. The first step is we're going to multiply, if necessary, one or both equations, sometimes we don't have to multiply any of them, by a constant so we can get one of the variables, either x or y, to eliminate itself. Okay, and we're going to eliminate by adding the two equations together. Um, when we do that, hopefully we'll get one of the variables to eliminate. Okay, step three, we're going to solve for either x or y after we eliminate one of them. Step four is just like section 5.2, we're going to go ahead and substitute back in to the other equation, one of the two, um, to solve for that other variable, x or y. In the end, we're going to get a solution. We're going to get an ordered pair, just like the previous couple days. All right, let's go ahead and do an example here. So first step, we need to multiply one, both, or neither of them by a constant to get a variable to drop out. If we look at the y's here, okay, when we add, if we have opposite signs there, a positive 2 and a negative 2y, when we add them, they're going to eliminate each other. Okay, but look at the 3x and 3x, we're going to get a 6x. Again, positive 2y and negative 2y, those just cancel each other out. Equals 4 plus a negative 4 is 0. Okay, then if we go ahead and divide by 6, we know that x is going to be 0. 0 divided by 6 is 0. All right, we have our x value. Let's go ahead and substitute it back in. Doesn't matter which one. Um, pick the easier one. Let's pick, let's pick the positive one. Okay, and we're going to substitute that in for x there. Okay, so x equals 0, so 3 times not x but 0 plus 2y is equal to 4. Okay, do the math now. 3 times 0 is 0. We're left with a 2y equals 4. Divide by 2 on both sides, so y is 2. Okay, and that's our solution. We get the ordered pair, 0, comma 2. That's our solution to that system of linear equations.